Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we're looking at Oblivion Song Issue 2. This is from Robert Kirkman and Lorenzo Di Felici. And the issue starts out with Nathaniel Cole showing his recent additions, the Crenshaws, around the museum devoted to what had happened. Apparently this happened in Philadelphia and there's a memorial where they have various artifacts and videos people had shot. And there's also a giant monster that had been taxidermied that they'd managed to kill. Apparently what happened was two lands swapped out. The area around Philadelphia, like a 30 mile radius, swapped out with some part of this place they're calling Oblivion. Now, Oblivion is largely fungus and molds and monsters, apparently. So, once they killed the monsters, the land kind of died on its own. And it's now sealed off with a giant wall to keep people from going in there. And mostly, people leave it alone. It's now kind of a desert wasteland. Now, Nathaniel tries to recruit his buddy Marco, who's kind of a jerk. But Marco refuses to go with him and help him out. He's got a family to look after now. And he wants to stay sane, effectively. And there's this love triangle go between this woman and a guy named Benjamin who apparently were lovers until her husband came back and that's some subplot that I'm sure will get resolved in five years knowing Kirkman and there's a lot of jibber jabber about budgets and stuff like that and then we cut to uh, Nathan over in the oblivion eating a sandwich when he's attacked by a giant monster and then he falls down off the building but he's okay until a large scary looking guy points a shotgun at him and the guy looks like a 1800s caricature of a black man it looks pretty offensive that's just the art style so that's the issue i can already sense kirkman's disease kicking in and that's where you drag out a storyline for three years that should have taken about 12 issues if you like slow paced long drawn out stories this is probably for you but it better pick up with a little bit more action and advancing of the storyline or i'm gonna get bored real fast because I don't care about the soap opera aspect of it. That's why I stopped reading The Walking Dead. It wasn't going anywhere. And I suspect that Kirkman's going to do the same thing here. But overall, it is very well written. I will give him credit for that. I don't care for the art, but it is very stylistic. So I'm sure there are plenty of people that will like it. I don't care for this style, but it is a popular style. And the guy is good at that particular style. It's sort of like Frank Miller. You know, if you either like Frank Miller or you don't don't there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of people in the middle on that one so i think the art here is kind of the same thing i'm more worried about the storyline being slow and taking forever to get where it needs to go and that's called the walking dead overall it's a recommend i would say it's worth reading but i don't know if i'm gonna keep up with it it better be going somewhere or i'm gonna get real bored it's got about one or two more issues to really pique my interest before i give up completely but that's my take on it as always, thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. Be sure and hit like and subscribe, and we hope to see you on the next one.